Hello guys, today I will show you how to use the Site Master Enritsu S331 in Aero Navigation Mode. This feature is very useful, most especially when you are encountering touchscreen malfunction during testing. Ok, let's get started. Configure the device in aero navigation mode by pressing shift followed by system. And look for calibrate touch screen option. Press 1 to select aero navigation. And press 1 again to enter aero navigation mode. Your device is now in aero navigation mode. The device is not calibrated. Let us calibrate, by pressing shift followed by calibrate. You can now use your arrow button to navigate the selection. Take note that menu button is now functioning as OK button. Start the calibration by measuring the open of the calibration kit. After measuring open, measure the short of the calibration kit. After measuring close, measure the load of the calibration kit. After measuring load, device is now calibrated. Frequency and distance tab. A location where you can change your frequency and distance, into your desired value. You can set the frequency by selecting the start frequency or end frequency, followed by menu. And manually type your desired frequency value, and press enter. But right after changing the frequency, you need to calibrate again. Amplitude tab. A location where you can set the amplitude value, to view the waveform correctly. You can set the amplitude, by selecting top amplitude or bottom amplitude, followed by menu. And manually put your desired value, and press enter.
Sweep slash Setup tab. A location where you can run or hold your sweep, you can single or continuous your sweep, you can change your data points, and where you can make your Ohoot power low or high. Measurement tab. A location where you can choose your desired type of measurement. Ether VSWR. Return loss. Cable loss. DTF return loss or DTF VSWR Marker tab A location where you can assign and control your marker from M1 to M6 Market to peak, and marker to valley. I will show you how to change the cable type. First, go to frequency and distance tab, and press menu. Navigate to DTF8 and press menu. You can edit the DTF parameters by turning the circle bottom, going start distance, stop distance, start frequency, stop frequency, data points, and cable. You can change the cable type by pressing enter. Locate the correct cable and press enter and press enter in recalling the measurement press shift and press file button navigate to recall measurement tab and press menu Locate the desired measurement by turning the circle button. And press enter. Now you can see your recalled measurement. To check the value, go to marker tab. And press menu. Set the M1 to be the reference marker. To check the maximum peak value of waveform, navigate to marker to peak. And press menu. You can also set your limit, by pressing shift, followed by limit button. Navigate to limit tab and turn it on. You can also change your limit value, by navigating to single limit tab, and press menu. Input the desired limit value, and press enter.